Draft Championship. And then you look at the string of historical players, Jorge a. Campos, Claudio Suarez, Hugo Sanchez. I mean, it's just a history book of Mexican soccer. Yeah, Hugo Sanchez might be one of the best players who ever played in Mexico. And he's uh, perhaps maybe the reason why... Um, so getting to use some young players uh, early in the week, giving some of the senior players some rest. But now it's time to, to say, let's be sharp. We can't go two weeks without playing. Is Let's get our good guys on the park and have a good performance and know that we uh, starting Saturday. Underway from Toyota Field. Alongside the coach, Tim Hankinson, Hayden Partain, the third member of our team down on the field, our entire crew. I'm Dan Weiss. This against seven defeats, six draws. They were 15th in the Closuda, did not qualify for the postseason. 18 total points, so trying to recover from what was uh, poor. Very important with teams about to start uh, you know, their tournament. Obviously they're missing some uh, big name players uh, because of the Gold Cup um, but you know these teams are so deep with talent. Precipitation, it has been raining consistently throughout South Texas all afternoon, so it is certainly soggy conditions out on the pitch, but we expect to be rain-free for the two hours of the duration of this match this evening. Well, and that wet surface is going to... ...here on Tuesday night, and about 75% new faces. That's their captain wearing number two, Alan Moso, who is one of several players who come from the Universidad Nacional Youth Academy. So similar as they both build their programs through their academies. In fact, Pumas, going back to the National Autonomous University of Mexico, one of the largest public... ...says, you know, he's not going in uh, without any experience. Very valuable minutes for the club. Angel Garcia again making the run. Liam Doyle steps in front. Garcia with the back of the touchline. Alan Mosso plays forward. Flicked along by Emmanuel. That he was kind of on fire. You know, he gets a goal, gets an assist. Very aggressive in his runs. And then slowed down. Played was a homegrown product of Real Salt Lake and a member of Real Monarchs SLC for a couple of seasons from... Garcia. Moso. He's appeared in MX. They only scored 10 times. They only conceded 12 times. So they were in every match, but 10 times in 17 matches finding the back of the net is not going to get you three points very no, many nights. No, it isn't. And we've talked about that with you know, SAFC needing to be more goal productive. It's Marcus Epps a moment ago to get the goal. That will be there for SAFC much of the night because it was there on Tuesday. The ability for these teams from Mexico to, to keep the ball and play possession and, and just control the tempo of the game is sometimes just hard to believe. It's just outstanding. Also, good delivery into the box. Salcedo beaten to it. Stepping up, Salcedo recovers. Goes to ground as he lost his footing. And again, try new things. You almost get a little mini preseason again. Um, can adjust your philosophy. And the second half of the season, you go out and win a championship, even if the first half didn't go as well as you would hope. The problem is when you... Salcedo. Off the feed from Marco Garcia. Concedes there. Jasser Kamiri. And off the hand there of... Garcia. That continuity that, that you need to, to find consistent results. Salcedo. Angel Garcia to return ball through. Salcedo to recover. Garcia into the box, headed wide by Amaro. Or at least disrupt the opportunity by the uh, the Puma player. Um, Pumas has been to work the, the left touch line so well in, in developing their attack and their cross. It's more about the experience and the quality of your play. And let's face it, coming into this week, this this international tournament, we were not on our game. We were not. Drew with the switchbacks, 1-1 one, one back on June the 6th, thanks to a late goal from Justin Dillon. And again, hopefully the play of the first team here tonight on top 2-1 following that. Band on... on uh, Mozo is, uh, I'm sure, very appropriate for what he brings to the club. But there's a very uh, known fact that there is a... But you wouldn't know that almost two... Um, all of these guys played for Puma. And Hugo Sanchez may be... Maybe the best player in Mexican soccer history. It's debatable, I guess, who you ask. But the career that he had, completely different. But then it's got to be so painful uh, 
to serve walking papers to such a, a decorated player like right. Hugo Sanchez. This cross in is taken by Mar Epps. Back on the ball. Puma has entered their half, then starting to step up and apply more pressure. Team USA and the select group that's out in Las Vegas right now. Tremendous honor for him. And the national team will get underway tomorrow. By 70 to uh, you'll risk injury, and it's important to start with 45, and then it becomes 65, and then... And he's brought down there in a foul. He whistled on Alan Mozo. But I was going to say before, Coach... A good run from Alan Moso there in the corner on Leo Torres. He'll play it off the back of Torres. The key for playing this, a single striker, and I know that Sanovit on one side, is let's keep it there. Good footwork there from Leo Torres. Good touch there by Amari Garcia. And Alan Moso again. Nice slide tackle. Keeps the ball moving. Garcia. I'd like to see how that's matured. A 19 year old already in his third pro season. We heard in our feature started in San Antonio with their elite training program back in 2015, training with a first team back to San Antonio at the end of the summer. And he uh, shuffled a little bit on Tuesday night. Here's good service into the box in Deneno's direction and back. And then in the second half, it kind of slid into the core number 10 role. Little squad and the, you know, getting a jersey and. Uh, Oh, what a run by Leo. He took it through. Up just to catch him offside is a big difference. Build up the legs to be able to handle 90 minutes to make sure we don't incur any... Uh... San Antonio had a chance to get out. Instead, Pumas regrouping. Fabio Alvarez wearing number 10. Yeah, they were building a good sequence until the top. So up that far touch line. Cross looking for Deneno. He's there on the end of the header. Oh, he tried to go with the acrobatics and just... On the ball. But I agree with you, the quality of the cross is outstanding. Ariano. As he got into the box, but then concedes. Mosso. Upfield. Kept alive, though, by Pumas. Mosso. Back inside the box. Turning! And is it a goal over goal? Their ability to turn away from you and cut the ball and ball never gets an inch off of their boot. It's really quality stuff. Varela, the clearance. Heavy on the touch. Flick back along inside the box. Pit back up and put in by Juan Dineno for the go-ahead goal. Like I said, you can see Bruno suddenly finding another gear. And, uh... 7.30 here at Toyota Field. As Gutierrez Cuts it back into the inside corner of the box. Sends it in. No, oh, Washington Caruso got up, but mid valiant efforts against the two MX sides. But coming up short on both occasions and by identical 4-2 lines as this one finishes at Toyota Field. The Pumas from Universidad Nacional defeats in the second half for the visitors. Your club season continues next Saturday at 1 o'clock in Colorado Springs. The USL. Have a great night, everyone.